What's up, YouTube? All right, we um, we are back with another little small um, car update. Um, okay, let me see how we want to start it. Um, I did go to the police station and we had to get some stuff straight. And okay, so I have been very kind of like quiet. Not saying much, um, letting everybody go through the motions um, of what they think they know, and I'm like, okay. <clears throat> so, but when the guy said that his mechanic came and looked at the car, and he said that he could start out fixing it for seven thousand Ghana CDs. <laughs> That's when I had to kind of like introduce myself. I'm like, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let you know who I am and what I do for a living in America, you know. I ran my own shop. I was a body man. I was a paint guy. I done everything myself. Go to my YouTube channel. Go back and you can see everything that I do. I was building cars, I know. I said, man, look, everything is wrong with this car. It's way, way more than the car is worth. I said, I tried to, I'm trying to explain to y'all. In America, this car would be towed. It's like a $2,500 car that's got like almost $10,000 worth of damage. It don't make sense. I said, but I wasn't going to say nothing. I know we, I'm in Ghana. I'm going to let y'all do it y'all's way. So when it's estimate, I'm bringing the estimate of uh, some guys from the place that I use is called Auto Clinic, and his shop is set up just like it were, just like an American shop for real. He got a real, real nice setup. Shots out to them, um, Auto Clinic. Uh, but you pay, you gonna pay the price because he got all the high technology. He got the lifts, he got the the tools, he got everything. He, he got one part is a mechanic shop, then he got a whole another part for auto body paint. He got it all so. Of course, you know, you got to pay for it. I mean, like I told my guy, this, he said 7000 I said, man, I paid 7000 just to get the AC from the, from the front to the back replaced. I wanted all the lines replaced. I wanted everything. I paid 7000 just for that. He was like, hey, yeah, yeah. So, now they know. And so, I bought my guy down now. Got the estimate back today, and like I said, the estimate came out to be fifty-two thousand Ghana CDs. Which the car here, uh, I was, I would have sold the car for like thirty-five, uh, somewhere between thirty-five and forty, you know, maybe. If just depending on how the deal would have went. So that's what I mean when I say the damage is way more than the car is worth. Oh yeah, you could probably take it in the backyard or tie it to somebody's tree and try to pull this, try to get the frame straight and all this, and your car be going down the road sideways if that's what you want to do. But I'm not doing it. Um, I'm not riding in no car like that. I'm not putting my family in a car like that. So hey, that's not gonna work for me. So now they see what the real, what the real situation is on the car. So now we had another problem. So I, I'm going to just sit back and wait because really I told the guy from the beginning. I asked him about the money situation. We could have just sat down as men and worked it out. But they had already took my car to the police station before I even they already had done all this. And that's another thing. When I, I'm not from here. So I don't know everything. I don't know. When I took the mechanic guy down, he was like, why is your car in OEB? Because, you know, where my office is, is right in a dental. Like, it's a meth was right here off of Dota Walk. It's like in a dental. Like, we got a police station in a dental. Like, five minutes away. But they took the car way to OEB. 
where like he's from down now. So he was like, why would they take the car way down? Why we gotta go way down here? I said, cause man, that's where they took the car. I don't know. Hey, when I got up, that's what they told me they was doing. When I got out of bed, they told me the car was going to the police station at this place. So I asked the guy, I said, why did you tell them to bring the car down? He said, I didn't. My friend uh, told them to bring the, to bring the cars down here. Like, okay, okay. So I just I just let it win. I ain't finna get off into it. It's, it's done, the car is there. Can't change it. Don't worry about it. We'll take it from here. But now that they see the estimate that Auto Clinic gave, now uh, everybody's like, um, 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 let's, let's wait, we'll get back, we'll call you back, we'll, call, we'll get back with you. I'm like, okay. But, like I said, I told him, straight up, I said, when you first hit the car, my number was right there on the window. All you had to do was just call me, say, hey man, I hit your car, um, I need to talk to you so we can try to get this straight without involving the police and all that kind of stuff. So I do. that's who I am. I have, I have lived my whole life avoiding the police, trying to avoid the police. Now, I talk to the police a whole lot more here, but I, under, I understand how to do business without involving the police because this has been my whole life in America, was getting around the police. So, hey, but it is what it is now. And now I think he want to like come to the table, come and talk and try to work out some. And, and I still will. I mean, because this, this is just what it is. Whatever he want to do, we'll try to work it out. And something like, you know, just work out something. Um, I don't know what it's going to be. Because like I said, he's, he want to think for a minute. And, and, I, and I don't blame him. I will too. Um, but whatever needs to be worked out, hey, I'm open-minded. We'll work it out. We'll try to work it out to where it benefit uh, both of us. You know what I'm saying? Because um, they ain't trying to put that kind of pressure on this guy. He already got enough going on. So, but anyway, that's just a little update. And, uh, yeah, that's it. We'll get back with you. Mahalo.